so for finding the radius for any compound you have to find the r plus or r minus is directly proportional to e by z ratio or e by p ratio for any substance e by p ratio is greater then r cationic or r ionic will be higher got it so find out for this and for isoelectronic spaces r cation or r anion will be directly proportional inversely proportional to only proton or atomic number z is atomic number because electrons are same here so it becomes constant so only inversely proportional to proton or atomic number z is atomic number so see here n3 o2 f minus na plus mg2 plus all are isoelectronic spaces and as you know that for isoelectronic spaces r cationic or r ionic inversely proportional to atomic number so what is atomic number it has tell me 7 8 9 okay so this is 11 this is 12 therefore order of cationic or anionic radius will be inversely proportional to atomic number fe2 plus and fe3 plus order of radius r cationic will be tell me <coughs> so as you know that both have same proton atomic number is same so if number of electrons are more then radius will be more and in fe2 plus has more number of electron compared to fe3 plus fe2 plus formed by ejection of two electron while Fe3 plus 5 is of 3 electrons. Therefore, it has higher electron. So, electron here is greater than this. Therefore, the order of radius is A greater than B. B. Got it? Yes, sir. So, what will the order of radius for Sn2 plus and Sn4 plus? So as we know that both have same number of proton and Sn2 plus higher electron compared to Sn4 plus therefore order will be radius of this. So for same element R of Van der Waal will greater than R of metallic greater than R of covalent. So covalent radius is shortest radius for given metal. And this is the reason in periodic table helium has sorry inert gas has higher atomic radius because they have only one wall radius. So what is the general periodic trend? It decreases and then so write down periodic trend of radius. General periodic trend of radius So general periodic trend of radius is this and this is increases. So write down this is the periodic trend but first element of atin group has a higher atomic radius compared to element of 17 group element of 18 group that is noble gas has higher atomic radius compared to 17 group that is halogen group so as we know that in group top to bottom atomic radius increases but 
if we have bronze, aluminium, gallium, then indium, then thallium. So here, gallium has. A smaller radius compared to aluminium. So write down this is irregularity here. Gallium has lower radius compared to aluminium. Aluminium has higher radius compared to gallium in spite of higher sale. Reason is reason is lanthanide contraction. As you move from third to fourth free end, there is no any irregularity in radius up to third period. Up to third period, except this group has more than this because of Van der Waal radius. But when you go down the fourth free end, so you know that in fourth free end, if D or vital is fulfilled. So, what effect the atomic radius? Tell me. J defective. What? J defective. Or you can say a screening constant, shielding constant. So, as we know that R cationic or R anionic is directly pro inversely proportional to J star. Yes or no? Or directly proportional to sigma constant. Yes or no? So, as we know that R not only cationic ionic, any R, any R is inversely proportional to Z star that is effective atomic number, effective nuclear charge, this is not that you know, effective nuclear charge and uh, directly to sigma constant that is shielding constant or a screening constant. So, as you know, when you move in period, the effective nuclear charge increases therefore size decrease yes or no and in the group sigma is constant sorry z is constant but cell increases that's why size increases but uh, as you also know that sigma depends on or vital it is inner vital or outer orbital it is also de depend on distance that is the orbit which orbit? Outer orbit or inner orbit? Yes or no? So, you know that S is more closer to nucleus, therefore, S has more screening, more sigma compared to D and F. Yes or no? So, when you move in fourth period, this is a fourth period, when you move from here to this, so see here, this is aluminium and this is gallium. In gallium, 3 D 10 are filled, filled, yes or no? 3 D 10 are filled. And you know that D 10 has, D orbital has lowest screening constant, yes or no? Yes or no? Therefore, Z effective will increase. Z effective will increase. And if Z effective will increase, it means R will decrease. Yes or no? This is the reason in fight of it has higher cell, the radius of aluminum is greater than gallium. So, what is the reason? This contraction is called lanthanide contraction. So, it is because of poor shielding of D and A for vital. So, the radius of this D or vital D all the D element that is the second and third it is almost equal this this is first series this is second series this is third series there are three series in D block the radius of second and third will be almost constant almost equal what is the reason because in all have fulfilled a for vital all have fulfilled a for vital and you know that a for vital has poor shielding a for R will be equal to effective nuclear charge 
inversely proportional to effective nuclear charge and directly proportional to shielding constant or screening constant. Mm -hmm.